Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Rebels TV. Fantastic to be joining you once again on your computer screens on a Wednesday evening. Sean Kelly's my name. Joining me is my co-host, AFL Victoria Talent Manager Phil Partington. Pardo, welcome back. Great to be back, Sean, and looking forward to the next edition of Rebels TV. Should be a big one as well. Obviously, last week's game to touch on before we get into the swing of things against the Sandingham Dragons at Trevor Barker Oval, and you can see the damage on the screen at the moment. And unfortunately, it wasn't our day in the end. But part of the first half, relatively promising. Our first quarter, Sean, we jumped out really well, and uh, I think we kicked four three in the first quarter. A middle quite damaging, and then yeah, it was a fair, a fair wind at Sandringham as well, mm. and. Uh, you know, very even at half time. That third quarter, we should have kicked more goals. And even the last quarter, we missed a few opportunities too, Sean. So, what well happens to the Sandman Dragons? Good team. Yeah, very good team. Very well drilled. And after half time, that third quarter has been a bit of our bugbear this year at times where we can't really put our finger on what it is. The coach said as much on Rookie Me Coach's Corner earlier in the week, but I suppose it's just something we've got to work on for the rest of the year. Yeah, Sean, sure. we, we don't lose concentration. We probably just, you know, we. we we lose our structure for about five minutes, which is about three or four goals in that five, six minutes, Mark Shaw. Yeah, it is indeed. And some good games. Jed Hill, I thought, keeping us in the game after half time. A couple of goals late in the second quarter to make sure we had our nose in front at half time. Probably one of his best games for the Rebels so far this year. Yeah, he's got a bit of X Factor Sean. He knows where to get from the footy, knows where the goals are. So he, he's playing consistent footy at the moment, Jed, which is really pleasing. But uh, our player of the day, Sean, yes. is Cal Wellings, our Mars player of the day. He had a fantastic day again. and. He's playing well every week. It's a really good quality player, Sean. Yeah, he did indeed. He's second time this year on the Mars Player of the Day, which just shows how well he's going at the moment. Is the skipper, Cal Wellings. We caught up with him after the game on Trevor Barker Oval. So let's have a chat to our Mars Player of the Day, Cal Wellings. Here with our Mars Player of the Day for Round 8, Cal Wellings. Tough getting on a day like this, unfortunately. Really good first half, but fell away in the second half as a team. Yeah, um, obviously our first half proved that and we talked about in our meeting that we can match it with these sides in Melbourne. And to Sandringham's credit, they were a good side. But we definitely came in at halftime thinking there was a game to be won because we played such a such a good half. But yeah, unfortunately dropped off in the second quarter and oh, the second half. Sorry. And yeah, Sandringham because they're such a quality team just got away with it in the end. How did you find things in the midfield today? 28 touches for yourself, but a really congested kind of game, and a game that both midfields kind of had a really good duel. Yeah, it was it was it was a good battle, and early on we definitely definitely got the jump on them. I felt, and our ruckman, Big Meeky and Watsy were, you know, giving us first use, particularly in the first half. However, I did feel that you know, even though the ruckman continues to give us first use in the second half, Sandringham adapted quite well. And it's to the to their midfielders' credit, probably got on top of us in the second half to provide their forwards' first option. Personally, how have you found your form over the last few weeks, Cal? Yeah, going all right. So yeah, just gonna got to keep focusing on getting the wins and just focus on the team first aspect, and the rest the rest will look after itself. A little bit of a different focus in the week coming up, obviously with the Vic Country Trial game starting. Is that something that you're looking forward to? Oh, I'm going to make. Lucky enough to get through, of course. Got to make the squad first, Shawnee. So just take it day by day, and if I'm lucky enough, I mean. There's five, five or six boys who who will be waiting that phone call on Monday, Tuesday, and then if you're lucky enough, your attention turns to that and your preparation for that. But it's obviously an exciting month ahead with some of our boys going to national championships and others continuing the through the Rebels. And, yeah, it's it's a very exciting month ahead for the whole club. And a big game in a couple of weeks up against the Murray Bulls Rangers. We've now got plenty of time to get ourselves ready for it. Yeah, so we'll have, we'll have a rest as, as the Rebels next week and then... Yeah, we'll come back down. I think it's at Craigieburn, so back down to Melbourne. And we've beaten Murray in the past at Craigieburn, so there's no reason we can't do it again. And as we proved today, our best is good enough to match it with these sort of teams, and Murray will just be another test for us. Well, congratulations on your game today, and best of luck hopefully next week with Vic Country and then going forward. Cheers, Sean. Callum Wellings, our Mars player of the day. Understandably disappointed with the result as it came over in the interview, but very well spoken by Cal and playing very good football this year. Yeah, playing great footy, but leading our club really well too, mm. Sean. So the way he goes about his business on the training track and off field, he's, he's an example for our young fellas in our program. Just touching on something that we put up during the week as well when we talk about videos before we get into Inside 60 part and the TAC has done a fantastic feature across all of the TAC Cup girls teams this year, their new recruit series. And on Monday, we saw our Greater Western Victoria Rebels version of the new recruit series launch. It's on our website, it's on our Facebook page, it's all over our social media. If you haven't seen it yet, do yourself a favour because a fantastic little video piece put together by the TAC profiling our game changers. 
Yeah, it's great to see the girls talk about the program for our first uh, time in the CS Cup girls program, and it's really exciting, Sean. Mm. And uh, I know the girls have really shared it. We've got about seven and a half thousand views in the first six hours, Sean, yeah. which is outstanding. So, uh, what well done to the girls. And well done to everybody for having a look at that piece as well. Well done to the TAC and to AFL Victoria for getting that one commissioned. Inside 60 time, Pardo, thanks to Blue Gun Clothing. And I'm a little bit surprised this bloke hasn't appeared on Rebels TV so far this season because he's been in a pretty good vein of form and was in Player of the Day contention a couple of times this year. So we thought we'd get him in front of the camera inside 60. The pride of Cobden, Trent Reid. Oh, the Cobden boy, so... Yes. Uh, be great to hear him what he's got to say here, Sean. He's a, he's a great person for our footy club. Mm. Very committed and does all the hard work, Sean. He's a, a great young man. Angry little ant on the field at times as well. So it'll be interesting to see if that translates over to the camera when he's got the chance to give some of your teammates a smack. So here we are inside 64 Blue Gun Clothing, Trent Reed. Uh, ready. Uh, midfield. Sam Mitchell. Uh, Cobden Football Netball Club. Uh, passionate. Uh, Flynn Appleby. Uh, Dow Cox. Oh, Lockie Wareham. He's just a pest. Ah, uh, playing my first Rebels game. Ah, uh, Hugh McCluggage. Um, James Warple. Trent Reed inside 60, thanks to Blue Gum Clothing, pretty measured, Reedy, didn't expect anything less. Very well spoken, very measured, you want yeah, so he's a great young man, as you said. He is indeed, looking forward to this weekend, part Owen. No, Rebels going to have a look at this weekend, the first of quite a few development rounds that happen in this middle stages of the season. Good chance for the boys to rest some bodies over the weekend. Yeah, well, sure, if the boys have played every test and game, it's, and they've probably been going for eight, nine weeks without a rest, so uh, they may have a rest if their body's feeling a bit tired, but uh, we also encourage our players to get back and play local footy too, Sean, so yep. to show what they've learned from the Rebels program back at the local club. So uh, other boys have got Vic Country, of course, mm. Sean, we've got Vic Country versus Allies on, on Sunday, uh, so we've got three players involved there, so uh, Lloyd Meek, Cal Wellings and Jordan Johnson in the Vic Country squad, so we're looking forward to seeing those boys go. And also we've got number 16 boys involved in trials as well for Vic Country. Yeah, fantastic to see. It's starting to ramp up as well with the representative stuff at this time of year, doesn't it, Pardo? Obviously, there's this week with the trial game and then a TAC Cup week the next week and then another development round on the June long weekend where the NAB Under-18 National Championships start to get into the swing of things. And as you mentioned, great to see three of our boys involved, in, especially Cal Wellings, who had an injury interrupted run last year and didn't get a run at the championships. Lloyd Meeker hurt himself during the championships last year, and then Jordan Johnson, who's been in fantastic form over the last few weeks. To have two 19 year olds, Sean, in the Vic Country squad is really good because you only play three 19 year olds per game mm. in the carnival. So we're not quite sure how many games they will get to, but to have the opportunity this week to play against the Allies and have every AFL club looking at them at, uh, at the game is going to be very exciting for our program. Talk to us about these trial matches at an under 18 level. Obviously, it's something where you're still going through final selection. Um, for the Vic Country team, obviously yourself very heavily involved with the Vic Country structure as well. Is this a full dress rehearsal for the championships, basically? Yeah, we're basically uh, having this as round one of our championships, Sean. Okay. So not so much a dress rehearsal. Uh, every time you step out in the ground in front of the AFL recruiters, it's it's game on. So yep. uh, we're treating this as round one of the championships. The next time we play the uh, Allies in round one, but uh, yeah, full on this weekend. Yeah, so no rest for Pardo this weekend and for quite a few in the Rebels camp. That's all the time we've got for this week, Pardo. Thanks for joining us. Good luck with the Vic Country commitments on the weekend. Thanks, Sean. Looking forward to it. And we'll see you next week here on Rebels TV next Wednesday night as we get back to a week of normality in the Rebels camp. We'll see you then.